Alright, so we'll see if Umar Nabango met up to get his takedown game going here early. That is not to suggest that he can't realize success on the feet in this particular matchup. Nurmago Medov truly has every skill that you could possibly want for a modern day mixed martial arts athlete training out of the American Kickboxing Academy. But oftentimes for him, the path of least resistance has been taking the fight to the floor. Pretty strong jab there by Nurmago Medov. Early action here in round one, and a nice front kick there by the kickboxer. That seemed to back the wrestler up a little bit. Yeah, and that reaction tells me that the kickboxer needs to do it again. Because it seems as though the wrestler is now going to accept fighting at this range. And that will allow for him to land more and more of these beautiful kicks. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Umar Nurmagomedov gets hit by that double leg here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Sanhagen getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Nurmago Medov's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, right to the mouth. He's got to be careful here. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Back and forth we go. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stricken four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Two oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. The fighters separate. Just over two minutes to go. Good punch land. With that. Oh, he's hurt bad. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Slips the punch nicely there. Sanhagen going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Takedown defense holds up. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man stand. Under a minute to go. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Sandhagen. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh.
All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Round two is next. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Left hook to the head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Connects with the punch there. Oh, nice. Spinning back fist. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and prove it to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take him out very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills in his showing right now. Nice, solid punch to the head. Nice front kick there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Sam Hagen's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. It's a nice jab by him there. Throwing that jab, no good. Straight punch, that is useful. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time being too. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. This fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Sandy. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that fight. 
oh, I want the gym. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Final seconds here of round two. He gets a single contact, a little for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now Ready. he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very even in the match. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Back and forth we go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here. Tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sandy. Guard pass. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground upon. A lot of top pressure being applied here. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Just over three minutes now to go. Sam Hagen's in half guard. Working out of the half guard here. So Mago Medoff's right back to the full mount here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Takes his back now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medoff. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, right in the wall. Oh, he's got his back. Nermago Medov's really pressing now. He's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Under two minutes to go. This is a terrible position. Marco Medoff's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Arms in deep. Submission. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, 
this is some serious pressure from the top by Umar Nurmagomedov. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Final seconds here. Lands the kick to the body there. Time now. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent to from the top position. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Umar Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. More strikes to the head. Punch is true. Big knee. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body shooter. Mago Meadow gets the double leg takedown. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have been in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Like that! Nurmago Medov's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Under three minutes to go in round four. here by Nermago Medov. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Sanhagen's eye is starting to swell shut. Round and pound the hammer mark corner will be played. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Watch her ball here. 
Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Good on bar tip here. What he's got to do now is just be very aggressive to try to finish this fight. Oh, is this a What? Oh, How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Gomero's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh yeah, he's got him to sit tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Big right hand. Romago Medoff's nose. Oh, another one. Oh, big shots raining down. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. Good work from the top here by Romago Medoff. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, nice takedown defense. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Final seconds. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Do we it. have arrived at this fifth and final round. Switch kick and Lance, you got that weapon in your arsenal. Right? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Mills. Well, that left. Oh, oh, man, 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 man. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, that's big. Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. Oh my goodness. Marco Medoff gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Kickboxing 101. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Solid takedown for him right there. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. <laughs> well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going on. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. He's got to find a way to finish this fight.
beautiful shot lands to the leg. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, effective use of the jab by Sandhagen. Now, DC, you know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Get the ball here. Morocco Medoff's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he got out. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, Sand Hagen's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Submission defense. That was a slick transition. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Seconds of the fight. Sand Hagen's in half guard. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Uba Nurmagomedov! All right, no surprise as the wrestler gets it done on all three scorecards against the kickboxer. Crowd was loving the kickboxer walking out. Now they're showing their appreciation for the wrestler after a most dominant performance tonight. Expectation versus reality. Yeah. The expectation was that the kickboxer was going to do something fun. But the reality was, it was this wrestler's night. And look at him now, taking it all in as he earned that unanimous decision. 